Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the free Vism Photo Viewer app. So if you're not a fan of the built-in Windows Photos app, you might like this instead. So it's pretty basic. It lets you view your photos, get information, and lets you do some basic editing as well. So you could download this from the Microsoft Store. Just do a search for Vism Photo Viewer, and then just click on Install or Get, and then that's all you need to do, and then it'll be with your regular apps. All right, so when you open it, it'll show you all your pictures from various locations here, as you can see. And we even have some duplicates, but these are not duplicate photos because if you hover over them, it tells you the name and the location. And then you could right click on them, copy, share, delete, rename, print, open with, open in File Explorer if you want to go right to the location there. And also if you click on one to view it, for example, it has this property section where you can see the file name, the type, uh, the folder, the size, the dimensions, the date taken, exposure time if available, uh, what it was taken on. So this is an old picture taken on an old Pixel 3 phone and actually has GPS location. So if the photo has the metadata for the GPS information, uh, you could find it here. If not, then it's not going to show anything. So just keep that in mind. Then we have some miscellaneous information here as well. And then once you have a picture open, you can go to File, set the image as your wallpaper or lock screen, then some of the same options you saw before when right-clicking on it. Copy, Share, say so you want to share it. So these options here will change depending on what you have installed on your computer, so you could actually share it right from here. Do a Save As, open with something else. Open in File Explorer again, go to the next one or the previous one, print it. And now here are the editing options if you want to rotate it, crop it. Uh, we have some adjustments here for the contrast and exposure and all that other good stuff. Even make it grayscale or invert the colors. And then once you change it, you could save a copy, do a save as, or replace the original. And then if you want to change some of the view options, if you don't want to see the properties or the status bar, you could turn those off. Or if you want to see it full screen, you could do that from here, a zoom. And then if you want to change the properties from the left to the right, you could do that as well. Then you could also change the thumbnail size too, like so, if you want to fit more on the screen. And that's about it. So like I said, it's pretty basic, but it's a nice app just for some basic photo viewing and basic photo editing. So once again, just go to the Microsoft Store from your computer. You should be able to find it by clicking on your Start button, finding it in the Start menu. Just do a search for Vism Photo Viewer, download it, and then you should have it with your other apps. If it's not on your recommended, you should have it on your main apps under V right there. And then you could just open it from there and start checking out your photos. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.